It's a grand old fight. From the mighty days, Christian Petrarch is in the house. Morning, Track. Morning, everyone. Morning, Track. How are you? Good, going well. Beautiful weather outside. Oh. Isn't it stunning? It's lovely. It's I know incredible. you'd like a bit of um, home maintenance. Have you been out doing the gardening in this gorgeous weather? Uh... No, I actually had a gardener come in last week. Oh, <laughs> oh well we had the gardener. Uh, the I remember gardener. when you bought the house and you were like out there doing all the hip. Me, hard- no, it was Bella. Bella was doing everything. She was <laughs> you're painting. you're the pool guy though, aren't you? You do. You service your own pool. And no, he's got a pool no. guy. I think I do. Oh, he's got a pool he's guy. Got a pool. Of course he's hang got on, a pool guy. On. He's hang the on. best player in the AFL. You think he's cleaning his own pool? No. <laughs> <Didn't> <laughs> no way. Didn't you and your father-in-law put up a fence though? Did you uh, put up the fence? I So, hang on. No. Did, did you tell us you put up a fence? And no, you I didn't. It. No, we painted the fence. Oh, the okay. Bella did 90% of it, and I pretended I did it. Yeah. It's good that the, you admit the that. The job I did, though, which was really tough, was I ripped out all these agapanthers out of my backyard. Oh, the agapanther. Then, I, dumb by me, I realised my dad's a landscaper. So I was like, why don't I just get my dad to help with that, it? That, and That is really dumb. Why yeah. didn't you get him to help? Uh, don't know. <laughs> I thought I'd do it myself because it's my good house. Job. But then he was like, no, I'll come over and help mm. out. And good. he did, he did a little good job working bee. little working yep. bee. Is the house done or are you doing reno? No, we're going to do another reno soon. Yeah. Which would be exciting. Are you so. going to do any of it yourself? Bella will uh, do it. I will do zero of it. She's a boss, That's Bella. That's why. She's a boss. Your fiance. Bella is an so absolute boss. Don't put you on the block. Don't put me on the block. Just put Bella by herself. Yeah. yeah right. She'd be good. How are the wedding plans? <laughs> They're going well. You excited? Excited. Oh, love yes, that for you. Yes, very exciting. So, yeah. Great. Going well. Oh, I love you Got to get footy out of the <laughs> way love, first. Love. Yeah, can we talk um, footy? No, I want to talk so home renovations jumping, and weddings. jumping on the plane, heading to Alice Springs. Heading to Alice Springs so packing, tomorrow. Have you checked out the weather forecast? What are we... So, it's interesting. Last year, it was four degrees. It was when we freezing. Played. Right. Did, was it raining? Coldest, coldest front in like, yeah. I don't know, however long, forever. Is that harder on your body when it's really cold? Do you pull up so- more sore? Yeah. Uh, it definitely gets harder to get going before the game. But yeah. then once you're in the game, it's fine. It's a bit more of a scrappy game, definitely yeah. when it's wet and cold. Uh, but no, tomorrow's going to be beautiful. It's going to be 19 or 18 and sunny, Ooh. I think. 18 and 18 sunny, sunny yep. on Sunday, which Lovely. will be beautiful. So, yeah, Alice Springs, I love playing up there. It's such a cool ground. Mm-hmm. Small the, ground? Small ground? Big ground. Big, big ground. ground. The yeah. whole Indigenous community come and uh, it, it's awesome. It's really cool. Do you stay up there for a bit or you just jump the plane straight away, head back? Uh, we... F- we fly in tomorrow, fly out of the game on Sunday. Oh, straight after the game? Yeah. Yep. Oh, so. I'd go back to the hotel. You want to use the pool and stuff, don't you? <laughs> Can I ask another footy question? Um, holding the ball. Mm-hmm. There's been a whole sort of debate around... Well, apparently umpires were getting instructions mid-games as to... Like, they were getting coached from mid-games. Who? From the umpire's coach, basically. The umpires have a coach. Yeah. Yep. So they were getting instructions ah. in their earpieces mid-game. That's one issue. The second is there's been a bit of confusion about what constitutes holding the ball. Do you have clarity? Do you know? Uh, I have clarity now because they got the club got a um, document from the AFL Memo. umpires and to, to basically show what is holding the ball and what isn't. And I think it's just reducing the time now. So okay. I think in the past, the last 11 weeks, if you tackle me, Clint, and I can take an extra four or five seconds to try and kick it. Now mm-hmm. it's like they're really reducing that time. So if they see oh. that you're trying to spin and trying to get out of it yeah. and you can't, you, there's no intent to kick it, I think that's when they go, all right, we'll hold the ball. Uh. So is there a time on it? Is it like... No, I don't no. know. I don't think they're counting down. Yeah. Um, but the fun, but the weird one is if if I try to kick the ball and I miss my foot, mm. then that's not holding the ball. That's still... Well, you're clearly trying to get rid of you the ball. But then that's incorrect disposal. But it, that's what I think sometimes I find confusing is that not me confusing because the AFL comes to us before the season yeah. tells us what the new rules are but I don't think they educate the fans to know yeah so, oh, when, no, you, so, when, so when you go to games everyone's yelling ball oh, that's <laughs> a good point but then when we go but then when we're at the games like well we know we know that's not ball because of what we've been yeah. educated yeah. or like for example um the I find the funniest one the um deliberate out of bounds like the word deliberate isn't People used anymore it's insufficient too. attempt yeah oh. so it could come off the side of your boot and we know, well, that's insufficient attempt. So there'll be the other person's free you know, kick. up at oh. the SCG many years ago, the Sydney supporters, they're a lot more astute these days, but there was a time there where they didn't really understand the rules and they yeah, yeah. someone would kick a goal and they'd be like, that's right, Sydney fans, six points for a goal. Oh, I'm like, going to have to explain oh, guys, it. Maybe we should start doing that, <laughs> putting it up what? on the big screen. But, yeah, put them on the big screen at the start of the season if there's rule changes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, I think, it's a really I, good point for the I, fans. I do think that the AFL has through their media outlets, through AFL 360 and, mm. um, you know, other radio stations, 
to sh- tell fans, but yeah, I but think put it on the telecast, put it on the big screens. Like that, that's yeah, where the viewers are. It. Yeah, yeah. That's a good hey, point. I have a on question. The, on the broadcast will be good. I have a question. Question. So, Woody question. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Just off the your surprise <laughs> off the <laughs> AFL umpires having a coach. A coach. Right? I didn't. I. I just follow up question. So stupid, but I just My follow up question is because you guys have uh, you know your trainers who run out with water. What about what about when the umpires get thirsty? Who runs uh, out with their water? They bottle? have a sip of the players' water. They sometimes. have a sip. Yeah, I sometimes give them a little sip. If I want extra brown logo, oh, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Do they Good put boy. their lips on it or they hold it above? No, I've got those, those ones squeeze. where you put your chin Suck on it. it. Oh, yeah, it's like a squeezer one. Ah, oh, so you put your yeah. chin on it, it shoots in yeah. there. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, no, they would. Yeah, I think if the one of our trainers or runners is running yeah. past, they I think they'll ask for it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, right. they, they run, run, they run, yeah, well, they run further, don't they, than A ridiculous us? amount. I reckon like 17K, 16K wow. easily. Should we put you and Razor Ray down on a like racetrack one God, day and see no. who runs out of energy God, first? No, I would easily. I actually ran with it. <laughs> Sometimes in the preseason, we have umpires who come out and train with us. And then in the off-season, I was running around Caulfield Park and um, I was probably like maybe two minutes into my run. Yeah. And this, I saw this umpire. I was like, how are you going? And he's like, oh, can I run with you? And I, in my oh. mind, I was like, F oh. no, like go away. Yeah. You whip it? Yeah, yes. <laughs> anyway, he ended up running with me and it was just a debacle. Like he was just like, oh, Yo. this is, it was, almost he like, it was almost like, oh, this is, a, this is a pretty easy pace. And I'm like, oh my dying. God. And then yeah, I was dying. Blowing your ass. And then I, I had like. This is easy. Lo- <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to run with you to make yes, you feel better? Do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really feel better. And then I had to do an extra run or something. And he goes, are we done? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah we're done, mate. We're done. And waited for him to leave. I was like, I'm just going to start again. <laughs> do you know, umpires in the wild is, I love it. We run into Razor all the time. All the time. I'd say no, Lee ran into it twice. I reckon for a football player bumping into an umpire in the wild is like us seeing a teacher in the yeah, wild. Yeah, yeah. I reckon it's awesome. Matt, is it Matt Stevick? Is yeah, he yeah, Stevick, yeah. Before the game the other day, he came up to me and was like, he's just like, I made your lamb call me the other night. It was <laughs> oh. it was great. My, my wife really loves it and the kids love it. Just, you know, the kids are really enjoying it. Keep, keep him up. And I was like, thanks, mate. I was like, I really appreciate it. <laughs> Have so a good really, game. It was really fun. We'll enjoy the lamb. You should do pre cooked meals for the umpires. That'll oh, get you a few brown lambs. That's a good idea. Huh? <laughs> there you go. Hey, we're going to get I you. I don't think so. I kind of yell at him during the game, so I probably need to calm that <laughs> down. Razor, like forget the water. Them. Here's a little takeaway <laughs> container. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't be eating that if I was an umpire. Hey, uh, how are we feeling for Sunday? Feeling good. It's going to be a good game. Freya are a really good team, so. Um, we're both on similar, or maybe we're yeah. just a game clear. Tight, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is tight. tight. So. Um, Result last night was uh, who won? I think Carlton, Carlton won. Yeah. So Maxi okay. He Max had a fit, fine. fitness test last week. Well, it was really funny. We throw the frisbee before the game together. We live close to each other, and we just um, just get the legs moving. And he's like, "Oh, my calf's a little bit sore," but uh, I was like, "Oh, maybe you should you know mm. get that checked." And but I didn't realize it was actually like. <laughs> well, I messaged. I thought it was frisbee. just sore. I thought it was just general soreness. And then before the game, I get there and he's running out in the ground. Like, Max never does this. Yeah. And it turns out it was a fitness test. So. But I then he came out and had it blinded, didn't he? Well, I messaged Jason and said, you might want to get on St Kilda because Max could be out anyway. <laughs> what do you reckon this idiot did? Yep. Get on St Kilda. Yep. And what, and what happened? Max, he had one of his best games. <laughs> <laughs> so whoever you Sucking. bet on, I'm just, we're just, the other team's going to win. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, Trav. <laughs> so go the Dockers. So who wins tonight? <laughs> so who wins tonight? Well, I'm nervous about the Pies because they only have two players left. I reckon I'm about to get a call up. It's not <laughs> looking good. Injuries. Hey, um, enjoy Alice Springs, thanks, mate. Thanks guys. for coming in. Good Thank luck. you very much. Christian Petrarca on the air, 29 past 8 at Nova. Columbia Foot Deck. Jason Lawrence. Jason Lawrence. Feeling good on Nova 100. Jason Lauren. Follow them on socials.